video you are about to see was recorded I think two days ago. So today is Sunday and Sunday, let's see, June. Okay, today is Sunday, June 23rd. So the video you're gonna see uh, uh, me going through all of my lipsticks and talking about the bad ones and the good ones and what I'm doing with them in reference to the drama from Jaclyn Hill's cosmetics. I just want you to know that whatever commentary you hear was prior to her video that she released yesterday um, talking about how she's refunding everyone and she was sorry and everything else. And so before you watch the video, I just wanna let you know that uh, I really uh, believed her video yesterday. I liked her video. I've seen a lot of comments which are still negative about, you know, the whole shebang. But you know, at least she's doing her best to make it right. I don't see what else she can do. You know, she's refunding everyone. And so if you want to, you know, keep using them, it's at your own risk. If you want to throw them out, you can throw them out, do whatever you want to with those lipsticks, but you will get a refund whether yours came in in a good condition or not. The only criticism I have about that is she did it on Instagram stories and that's gonna disappear. And uh, I wish she would have done it on this platform on YouTube because this is where, you know, this is where our community is. This is where we all communicate with each other. And I just feel like she should have done it on this platform. It's hot. You guys, it's so hot. I'm gonna put my hair back up like this. It's just too hot. Anyways, so in this video, I hope you enjoy it. I just wanted to let you guys know my thoughts on the current circumstances. I'm glad that Jacqueline has is doing what she's doing. It sounds like she is going to, and she already has future releases on her makeup brand in her mind. She already has some product development uh, maybe they've already been created, so to speak. So she will be doing more makeup. I don't know if she's going to re-release these lipsticks. I hope not because I think she should move on until uh, this kind of passes over. You know, perhaps she can come up with some other stuff because I can tell that that's her dream and that's what she wants to do. And I think in this video that you're about to watch, I think I said that she should just stick to her tutorials uh, you know, and doing, you know, what her best and worst and all those titles for makeup gurus. I think she should, I, in the video I said, I think she should stick to that and not do her brand, which, you know, I'm kind of taking back now because actually, if you have a dream, you should do everything you can to make it come, through, come true. And always remember that some of the biggest players out there, some of our biggest millionaires out there made many, 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 many mistakes and never gave up. So this might be a good thing in, in, you know, for Jaclyn Hill to make all these horrible mistakes just to make her brand really, really pop when she comes out in the future. Personally, I, 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 it's gonna take me a while to actually, you know, I, I just don't understand why I would buy her makeup when there's so many other options out there and I'm really into Jeffree Star Cosmetics right now, so. I am talking about Jaclyn Hill's lipsticks. We're gonna get into it right now. I do not understand a lot of what's going on with her, and we're gonna talk about how we can use whatever has happened already to our benefit. So I'm gonna first um, go through sharing with you how it inspired me to go through, and I have more. Okay, one of the things that you have to understand about me is unfortunately, I like when it comes to like cosmetics, I don't throw anything away. Like I have makeup like from 20 years ago. I, I, I even have makeup from my, like my mom from when she was a teenager. I have all kinds of makeup and I didn't know that it was bad and that you never could use it. I mean, seriously, I just didn't think 
that, you know, like a lipstick formula. I just didn't think this is a MAC lipstick. Uh, which, by the way, I went through all of the lippies that I'm gonna show you with my magnifying, um, you know, light. And I looked at all of them, and we're gonna talk about the good ones and some of the uh, bad ones. But all of the MAC uh, lipsticks have nothing wrong with them, no matter how long I've had them. And the reason I have six of them here is because I, um, you know, if you, return six empties, you get a free product, something like that. I don't know, I've been saving it for years, like I said. So I didn't know that these can get, you know, that they can, that they can get contaminated, that they can get stuff in them, that they can come with stuff in them. This was absolutely new to me. And so when I started, you know, hearing all this stuff about the, what could be in the batch and all, everything that, I, that we've heard about Jacqueline's lipsticks, I thought, what is going on with my lipsticks, right? So I'm just gonna show you what I've done. I've divided them into three categories. Okay, we've got these, and then we have these. Let's see, you guys you can see them a little better. We've got all these, and then we have these. Okay, these are all my lipsticks, okay. So what I did is I went through them one by one and I tried really hard to remember uh, like around what year I would have purchased them or something like that or which one's the oldest one. I try to remember that and then I went through, you know, once I did that I looked at everything under here and I did see little fibers. I, I saw the sweat marks. Um, and uh, that's about it. Even with the ones that are really old, because these, like these here, hold on, which ones are they? No, these, okay. Not those, okay. These, you guys, all this, I'm throwing away. All this is going to go. Every single one is going, okay? We've got this NARS one here. We have Urban Decay. You know, we have um, Milani. All of these, all these are going. There's a NARS pencil. You know, this is really nice, I love this. Anyways, so me being true to myself, I'm like, well, I can't just throw these away, right? Oh my God, I keep getting interrupted and then I feel like I lost my, my mojo, my train of thought, where was I? Anyways, uh, we were talking about Jaclyn Hill, and I know I haven't said that much yet, so I hope that this inspires all of you guys to go through your lipsticks and your lip glosses. Uh, if you have, I mean, I'm sure, you know, I mean, people have way more than I do. This isn't that much at all, but um, I think I counted that I'm going to throw away 17 of my, um, of my, uh, lipsticks and lip glosses and you know um because i just don't want them anymore they're too old these were my first liquid lips that i bought by revlon and um, that was a long time ago and so anyways these are going in the garbage now these are also uh there's something wrong with these there's not something wrong with them but they're very old and they're they're yucky they're very very yucky M many of them are melted and this i want you guys to go through yours but um you know i don't know do you write them down like if you want to you know repurchase them see like this one you guys see how bad this is see it's just kind of melted you know and uh this is smashbox so I just want to write them down. I just want to write the names down because some of these I really like a lot. Um, you know, this one's all gone. So that's why, you know, there's no need to have these. They're, they're, they're too used up. There's hardly anything left in these. Look at this Milani one. Look at this Milani one. I mean, how could I possibly even put this on? Look at this. Isn't that weird? So anyways, it just melted. Maybe I had it in the car and it's nasty. Look at all that. 
But none of these had anything close to what uh, Jaclyn Hill's lipsticks uh, have shown up on our planet with us uh, from another planet. What I want to say is they came from another planet. Her lipsticks look like they landed from another planet uh, to me, and it's just incredible. The worst one of all of them was this one, and I know this is really old. This is by Maybelline, and uh, under the microscope, yeah, this one under the microscope has got all kinds of weird stuff on the top. I don't know. Let's see if you guys probably, you see, see the darkness a little bit? I don't know if you can see, but anyways. Nothing like uh, no holes or no, you know, black stuff or anything like that, but, um, okay. So then there's that, and then these are pretty new. These aren't that old, and uh, and they're, you know, ha they're good. They're good. They're really, really good. So these are the ones that I'm going to be using. It looks like I have only five lipsticks. <laughs> That's all I've got. Five lipsticks. One is from a Sephora brand. We have a Too Faced brand. We have Bobbi Brown. This is old. Why would I want, this is so old. I don't remember this, Bobbi Brown Raisin. This is old. Yeah, I can't with this one. Let's put this one um, over here so I can write it down. And then we have this Milani one, which is good. And then we have Jeffree Star, which is brand new that I just bought. Um, and, one of the worst lipsticks I've ever purchased is this uh, Too Faced Melted Matte Liquefied Matte Longwear. Remember, it was a collab with someone? I don't remember, but this was a collab. If you guys remember, um, put it down, but it's really goopy. It's goopy and it's just, I don't know. Um, it, just, it smells good, but I'm gonna throw it out. I, I don't want this at all, so I'm gonna throw that out. Okay, so I'm confused because I would think that if Jaclyn Hill really cared about her company, which you think that she would, that the smartest thing to do would be just come out and recall the products and say, you know, I'm sorry, I'm gonna come back. I mean, you know, say I'm gonna come back and um, everything's gonna be fresh. I'm gonna redo everything and make that kind of a effort instead of, her video, which I've watched other videos by different microbiologists and chemists and just all kinds of people that are sending her lippies in for testing that I'm so excited about to see those results. But all I'm saying is that I can see all the lies that she uh, said. And again, like I had said in my uh, first video, I really do think that someone's telling her what to say, but I know that it really doesn't matter because at the end of the line, it's her company. And, you know, it makes you think like maybe she really doesn't care and she really wasn't like hands on. That's exactly what I get out of this thing with Jaclyn Hill's lipsticks is she wasn't hands on. Did you guys see that video by Mango Tea? It's really good because uh, he went and actually did some research and found the LLC and how, uh, you know, she incorporated it in Delaware because Delaware has certain laws that protect uh, LLCs and also, you know, he just kind of educated some people. Like if she was going to go bankrupt, the best thing to do that I got from Mango T's video is if you're waiting for a refund, don't wait for a refund. Go to your credit card company because if something happens and they declare bankruptcy, no one's going to get paid. You know, their vendors, their distributors, whatever is, no one will get paid. And that's why, and it, and it won't affect Jaclyn Hill personally on a personal level because it is an LLC. Oh God, this is getting to me, that light. Um, so yeah, do call your credit card company get a refund, be really careful when we're at Sephora or Ulta or, you know, at MAC and we're trying on lipsticks. I'm just like really paranoid now and I know that I'm going to, you know, double alcohol wipe it and yeah, so hopefully that's the good that came out of all this is that all of us can go through our makeup, all of it, 
and throw out what's old and be more aware of the hy hygiene, sanitary, and public protection that should exist in our cosmetics. I, I, I think that like on her website when she put that everything is sold out, I really don't think that it's really, like instead of doing a recall, part of me is saying she did have products left, but she just put sold out instead of doing a recall, maybe because that looks better. I'm not sure, you know, and which is like, you know, that's part of, I just don't understand how she doesn't see that this video that she made affects her uh, integrity and her character and like you can't really trust her so how does she think that when she comes when she re you know stalks and she says oh I'm back I don't understand how she could possibly think that she's gonna have a lot of sales do you guys think that a lot of people are gonna buy her second batch of lipsticks I don't I don't know I, I wouldn't think so but you also wouldn't think that knowing everything that we know with beauty gurus and everyone else out there that okay this is what i'm seeing which i think is kind of weird you guys okay and this is beauty gurus and everyone out there i'm not i don't need to name names you know they're showing you her lipstick they're showing you the hairs and the mold and everything that's in there right and then wait let me get a lipstick that actually has like something in it um Okay, let me get, okay, let's get this one from Sephora. Okay, so they're showing you the lipstick. They're showing you all the stuff that has, that's wrong with it, right? And they put it under the microscope and you can see. I, that's what I don't understand. They can see the hairs and all that. And then they go like this. Some of them have gone like this or some of them have put them right on their lips. I don't understand why you would put something that's in a tube. You know what, a lot of us don't understand that when you put something in your skin, it's absorbed into your body. It does absorb. So if this is contaminated, if something is contaminated, that's why you wash your hands. So to actually smell it, I don't understand that part. You're smelling like, like what if one of those hairs go in you? You know, a tiny hair or, or a little particle whatever is in there, you know, mold or the rancidity or whatever, you I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't smell it. I wouldn't put it on my arm. I would, you know, I mean, it's like you have to wear a hazmat suit or something around those lipsticks. Complete disaster. And I think this is gonna affect her in the future. Uh, like I said in my last video, I wish Jacqueline Hill the best but I think she should give up trying to create her own makeup and because every time she does, it's a disaster. And now she's going to try to relaunch these lipsticks. Well, it's not a relaunch. She's going to say, I've got them in stock. And somehow or another, she, I, I mean, I would assume that the reason she's doing this is because she thinks they're going to sell. Like she's going to sell out. I, I don't know who would buy them. Um, I, under, I do understand buying them the second batch to test them, to look at them under the microscope and just see what they look like. That I completely get why you would buy them to do that. But to buy her lipsticks for you to wear, when Jeffree Star's lipsticks just came out, other lipsticks are, are lipsticks and lip glosses, you know, all kinds of lippies are new. And you're not gonna have this problem. I've never seen this problem in my life and I've had all kinds of old, old makeup. So let me know in the comments below if you guys want me to do a video because I know I have some really old makeup, uh, but it's kind of, at, it's at my shop. So, but I do have some old makeup, some makeup from my mom's. And as I go through my stuff, I have makeup. I have more lipsticks and more makeup in the garage. I told you, I don't, I, <clears throat> excuse me I save everything these are like my first powders the bare minerals I mean this is Scott this is like I don't know how old whenever bare minerals came out with these with these powders it's old you guys oh and these eyeshadows these eyeshadows by Revlon they're cracked you know and I'm like look you guys look I don't want to 
put this on my eyes. I do not want to put that on my eyes. And then the pink one is cracked as well. <laughs> so I said, oh no, look. But anyways, I have a lot more makeup to go through. I'm gonna fill this up with all the makeup that I'm gonna, just regular makeup. I just wanted to do the lip glosses. Uh, I believe Mango Tea found something in one of her uh, legal LLC papers that a person that's the manager or business manager is also, also has ties to Morphe. So I'm not sure if someone in Morphe sabotaged this for Jaclyn Hill, like if she actually had some kind of deal where she was in debt to someone and they said, well, you know, like since you owe us all this money or something like that, you know, we can use a lab and, and do this and produce these for you. And maybe something like that happened and they sabotaged her. I mean, that could have, that could have happened as well. So hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.